Okay, so this is a 3.5 star Galliopath with our 2 star Nami. Let's do this. Let's see who the support is. Shivana, probably the weakest one. Okay, we'll try it out. If he want, you'll I'll do it again with Malphite Galio. But <laughs> for the time being, let's do it with Shivana. I won't even make it there. I know for a fact. Anyways, let's look at the attachments. So Grand General counter, uh, Grand General's counter plan stays, and we'll give Camille's Camillions Nicholas creating two copies of Nami in the start of the deck. I don't really have that good of a common attachment. When this turns into rare, I'm gonna give you a warning shots to Nami. But that being said, let's start. Okay, Critica's cost one this is probably one of no, the strongest powers on Nami squad because of Grand Jalan's counter plane. Grand Jalan's counter plane gives us a Nami spell and Nami spell cost two, but Critica's cost one, so all of the Nami spells are one and you just get your mana back so they are technically played for free yeah a lot of things but you will understand when you see it uh actually i'm gonna throw this away because i'm gonna play nami on turn three so there's no point having a turn uh three mana play three mana unit that is okay fine nami went down i didn't i have no idea why did nami go down that's fine yeah why did it go down Oh, because it was created. That's why. Okay, we can't technically attack, so might as well skip. Go next. Yeah, this one is great. Less, one less. I'm actually here. Okay. So we do this. Kill it. And then pass. What could have been? See what they do. Single combat, okay. Then pass. Let it go through. We will play this one. The lower cost one, obviously. And we'll play this one. Yeah, so my, my, my viewer said that you can actually heal the Nexus. I didn't even know that you could heal the Nexus. I should read my ear better. It was so hilarious. So just kill it. And go next. Nami is 5 by 8. We'll be level upping soon. Okay. So, no point playing bu Burble Fish. I might as well just draw a couple of things. Put this one on the board. As, as you can see, see the champion. The Nami spells are 1. So, that means you can actually play all of them for 1 mana. So, it's basically you get all your mana back. It's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. Make them a little bit bigger yeah, and kill that one if I get hit it, which I did. Okay, we play another of this, we get one mana back. I think I can pop it even more. Actually, you know what we can do is we can do this, right? Nah, let's just do this. I kill it and then heal it. And heal it a bit more. And play the bubble first. Yeah, I could have played it better. Definitely could have played it better. It could have shot so much more damage. We wouldn't have killed them, but nevertheless. How many cards do you have? Nine. So we technically can't play this. Actually, we can't play this. We can double draw. Yeah. So we now have to use all of them. It's fine. We can play this one. It gives us one mana back, and we have enough mana to play all of this. See, for one mana, we can play all of this. Okay, so we don't block that one for sure. And we can block this one. Yeah. And now, we will heal, but this time I will heal the Nexus switch. Because uh, healing the Nexus is more important than healing the units, because we're gonna win the game next turn anyways. Might as well go on next game with more HP, right? So we don't need to heal more because we get free 4 HP from the power heal. So we'll just swing and finish them off. Ah, so there we go. So yeah, Nami games are going to be a little slow. But it's going to be more patience than anything. So yeah, the creative cast cost one is super important for Nami. Probably one of the best parts to have and to get it this early is pretty great. We don't really want any of them, technically. Uh, we'll go next. By next I mean next card. 
uh, heal that one is not that great. I'll take another reroll. This is actually super parallel converge is something that I definitely want, and it actually has a very good attachment, which is yeah. Um, what's that thing called? Portals. Um, out of this, who do you want? I think I'll take this. We're playing a slow game anyway, if you think about it. Yeah, we will take Victor. Victors might not be the best case for a lot of situation, but in this situation, I don't really mind. I'm going for the spell side because our deck is spell synergy, so we get more spells. Yeah, Victor might not be the greatest in terms of how slow he is, but Name can stall the game. And Name, Victor is a win condition on it himself. He can just hold the ground down. And his spells contribute towards mana as well, zero mana keywords. Oh, and of course, gear heads are great. Gears of gearheads gain by two. Okay, so it's their attacking turn. So it has challenger, so might as well let them attack first. Play on Nami. Why does Nami's boss go down? So definitely want to play another unit first. Then play this one. Get our mana back. And we'll start popping stuff on the board. They're elusive, so that's a little problematic. Okay. Get this one. Get this one. And then heal the Nexus. Questions do swing with stuff. I think I don't need to. I'll just uh, swing with this guy. This guy's overwhelmed, does this decent damage. And they have to deal with this in the long run, dude. Let's go and finish them off. It's Victor's turn. Ikalip can't swing at us. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice here and go next. It's fine. Both will, yeah, gain stuff. I'll get a mana back as well with this one. This Level up. Around. See, this is the reason why I took Victor. Victor will have super good synergy with uh, Nami, even if it's going to be a little slow. Which we can technically neglect if we can actually get mana when we want extra mana. Challenger is nice. I should have gone for face. Definitely gone for face. We keep forgetting that you can heal face. There are so many Nami spells, dude. Yeah, you just chain it. I think that's good. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Might as well use this one and finish them off. Because these two connecting to face, we automatically win because Victor has challenge in next turn. I should stop. <laughs> I should just stop. Yeah, we go next, drag with Victor and finish them off. Swing like this. That should get them. There we go. Yeah, so if, if we can do this, if we can just stall the game a little, we can just finish them off with Victor. Mm -hmm. The Victor will grow grow a lot. Okay. It gives us mana. Because it gives us an elusive win. But it's five, dude. Do we care about five? Actually, an alternative win condition is pretty good. If you can put this guy on the board and strike from the other side, fine. Plunder, I cost 3 less. Actually, I'll take it. 3 mana for 5 heal is decent. Actually, 0 mana info is pretty good as well. Mm, interesting. I'll take the invoke. Invoke has an even pretty good, greater synergy with the thing. Oh, throw something for the deck. I actually throw this guy. It's not the greatest. I mean, you can buff him, but it doesn't mean it. Make up that big of a difference. This is the this is the fight that we are tested. All the boss fights here are pretty dangerous. Zoe and Victor, uh, Zoe and Diego, Victor. If they go under mana, we can go for it. But you have to always check what's in their hand. This is the most tricky part of, about this fight. The only thing you care about is see what celestial card they have. This one, like this one, is played for free always. So now what what you do? You can't really technically do anything. Even if they play Zoe, they will be able to buff Zoe. So that's something that you have to keep that in mind. Which is good. They played it before they played Zoe. Okay, it's good, very bad. We'll go next, it's fine. My are so 
Rocket Pass, see what they do. Pass, see what they do. I let them do the entire damage. It's a boss fight, so we're not too worried about everything else. It's a spell shield, that means Zoe will get the spell shield, unfortunately. Yeah. Just, okay, they're not. Oh, damn, they didn't go for Zoe. I'll take it. Go next. So, the primary objective is always to go for Zoe. Uh, will they go for this one? Silence, so silence is hitting this one, so we lose our quick attack. Okay. As you can see, why growing Zoe is dangerous. Okay, let's see if we can get Challenger. Challenger on Victor right now would absolutely seal the deal. Especially not the worst. Okay. I'm gonna start blowing up the board now. Mm, yeah, we have to lower, keep. Uh, we have to keep uh, Zoe's HP a little low, or we won't be able to catch her if she goes too big. Uh, something. Um, okay, for the thing. I think that was a good kill. And we'll just do this. We get an invoke back as well. I get. We care about it. Let's uh, let's keep uh, uh, elusive just in case. In case someday play something big, we can have to deal with it. Yeah, we we're never gonna play anything. We we're never we were never gonna strike with our units. Yeah, we'll just play it slow. We have our champions ready. We have our copies coming in our hand. We can just trade this one that one. Is that that's the exact reason why I took an elusive one? I play our elusive. Okay. Uh I'll pick Frank. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can, I can, I can, I can actually make my yeah elusive. So I, I can block it with this one if yeah gets elusive. No, that one's pretty good actually. Okay, so what should I do first? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Never mind. Yeah, creator casts are gonna cost two less now, by the way. Because Victor also creates, yeah, Victor also loads these reduces the card cost. It's gonna be zero mana, right? Holy shit, I, I didn't even think about it in that way, dude. Let's pop as much as we can. Exactly that reason. Exactly that reason. See, we can actually keep 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 this guy alive. Super. This is the reason why I like doing the thing during uh, during the action happening. Because sometimes you just actually actually go crazy while you're out of it. Predict the thing. Let's see what we can use. Uh, two HP. I will take it so I can protect my. Uh... Now, man. Let this one. Get our yeah back. Oh, should I forgot about that? That's a yeah. Parallel converges. I thought this is Chrono Break, dude. This is an absolute naughty combo. I didn't even think about it. That it's yeah, parallel converges. I thought it was yeah, Chrono Break. Then I should definitely should have played it better. Yeah, I could have played it better. I could have done it before the thing came. Oh, damn it. I played it better. Uh, wrong then. I just swing should finish them off. They can't block, do anything with this much damage coming in. Yeah, and he has overall on as well. What a great way to start. Dude, what a great fight against Zoe. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this good of a performance from Name Victor. And he played Paladin Convergence super bad. I thought it was called Chrono Break for some dumb reason. Holy shit, that was super crazy. Nice, we'll have pretty good combos around the board. Okay, free attack is horrible. Don't take it in the upper levels. Free attack is super horrible, unless it's on Katarina. Katarina, Katarina is the only exception. Without that, don't just, just don't take it. Okay, every time you play this, you get a draw. Um, I think I'm going to give it to my... Uh, sp okay, spell shield on yeah, Nami is the right way to go. The reason I'm doing it is because this, these, these are the paths where you actually need to protect your units. And because... Uh, Viego has kill spells on them, and yeah, Galio has stun spell on them, single combat on them, so keeping that one is pretty good. Okay, so out of this, I don't have that many rerolls, so I will rather take uh, 
yeah on everybody we don't hit the enemy nexus that much so going this way is bad so we'll take lurk lurk is decent lurk stacks more than it's be it's much better than giving your allies plus one because lurks can hit more than once and give allies more than plus one right okay so champion attachment and spells spells i think spell will get more priority right you should play around spells the champion champions our champions don't really do that great if you think about it right their their contribution is simple so it's better we go for the uh, spell side because if, I, if you get a very good spell, we can just win the game from the one, from that one spell. We'll keep gear here. Obviously, we actually want Nami to come in our hand. No Nami. Yeah, without Nami, it's going to be difficult. For some weird reason, we were getting Nami super fast. Not super fast, always in our hand. Okay, no Nami. That's, then now we're going to actually find out how good the deck is. Because if you get your win condition all the time, it's easy. Okay, so definitely take this one out. No point attacking and dragging that one. That's gonna die. And actually, you don't want this to die, but they will die. They will get to six mana spells, unfortunately. Can't really do anything about that. Okay, so they're gonna pull and kill my unit. So might as well pass. Let it die. It's fine by us. Play this one. Questions, do we play this one? No. Play this one. Play this one. Gives us one mana. And we, uh, yeah, it thermal beam it. Get rid of it because it grew it will grow in hp we'll take this one hopefully we get a champion back and we'll start developing our uh victor this turn okay we will develop our victor okay how many two right they get two three trees four three trees four four five very nice let's go then but yeah, can't really do anything about that. He's created, right? Yeah. So just give some stats. Get hopefully Nami. Nami is the one we want. Perfect. Okay. I'll put more copies of Nami. And now he has enough attack power to actually attack and not die. There we go. Next. Nami has spell shield, so we're not worried about single combat coming in. But we are uh, worried about some. Oh, dude! Fortamase is coming! Oh, never mind. They went the other way. Good for us. We survived. Okay, let's play our Name. We just have to block two strongest hit coming at us. And we have two bodies. Question is, do we have enough? Yeah, question is, question is do we have enough? Sevens are the highest, straight. So block, block. 22 damage. Question is, do we take the 22 damage? I think we do. We're okay with this, so might as well play Manifest. Okay. Plunder, I get plus one, plus one. This can actually stall the game. I take a stall mechanism. Mechanism. I'll take a stall reasoning mechanic. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, yeah, that's good. And we go next. We take 22 damage. It's fine. It's a. It's actually not. It's not fine. But like I said, it's okay for the time being. We just have to play it a little smart. Draw our. This will keep this for some backup to stall the game down, to slow the game down. Okay, we'll play this one. See, we have one mana. This will give us another mana. We can actually play this one. This is the. This is why Manami is a little tricky. You have to, you have to think a lot. Okay, play this one. You can definitely increase the cost of that one. Play this one. Get another Nami or a Victor. Okay. And play this one. I think I should go. Just go. Yeah. Elusive? Yeah, elusive is the right way to go. Because considering how many units are there, there's no way we're going through them. So our strategy is to get elusive on Victor or Overman on Victor. Okay, let's play this one in the hopes of getting a spell shield. In the hopes of getting a spell shield on Victor. And not to mention the fact that now all our critic cards will cost two less, not one. Have to go for single combat. So let them play that. These are this one is created. So let's play our Nyan bot. Nyan Roid. Okay. Okay. Now draw. Ah, oh, dude, it's a little late. Yeah. Should if I, if I got in it. Look at how many Name spells I have. Each of them are three. So three fours are uh, twelve. Shit, dude, twelve spells on us. Ridiculous. 
and each spell is enough now these are not created so they won't and these will work so yeah we will heal it's gonna take a while but we're gonna heal for so much yeah i'm gonna heal every single bit nine but will almost kill them actually Actually, I can do something even better. But yeah, let me just heal up and get this guy a little back. He won't have enough. Oh, the neck. Yeah, yeah true, 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 true. The next part of the spells are... Oh, yeah, I think we have enough damage. We will be super close, though. No, we won't have enough damage, but we will be super close. How much are we healing? That's another question as well. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, like my, I'm so thankful for my viewer to say that you can actually heal Nexus. I didn't even know that you could heal Nexus. You're, yeah, we were super close. If you had overrun the one. Yeah, this is actually a stupid way to win, but nevertheless, everybody plays differently, right? When I say everybody, I mean the champions play differently. You're super close. Anyways, we'll just uh, do this. Almost. And do this. Woo! I can do this. Six damage dies. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Oh! Oh my god! We got them, dude! We one-shot them from 24 HP. 23, right? 22. Super. That was brilliant. If I do say so myself. <laughs> but that was super nutty, dude. Crazy, huh? Huh? Okay, this is actually nice. It summons a champion on the board. But this summons portals. No. Actually, it's fine. I'll take this one. If you get Ezreal, you can actually chain react. Oh, this is actually nice if you think about it. Yeah. Any damage spells? Damage spells are super. Okay. Uh, I don't really like that. This will help, help us with the draw. This will help us with nothing. This will give us portal and rally. Do we care about rally? We do. If we get one good rally, we get them. Okay, I'll take a reroll here. I'll take another reroll here. Dias is horrible. No, no point of getting it. Okay, I will do just get this one and nah, not this one. Nah, these are bad. These are bad. Sub stats. Nah, this is fine. I'll take one, one, uh, one rally for the fun of it. Champion action spell spells will get priority. Yeah. Oh, we don't want random cards. We're okay with the cards that we have. We just need to like polish our spells. And we lost our power because we didn't get anything good, but it's fine. We lost a reroll. That is the most problematic part because the, we're gonna get pitched off to the future. And we, if we don't have a reroll, we have to take whatever we get. And that's bad. That means we won't be able to polish the deck in terms of powers that we'll get, that is. Remeter, so definitely don't want to kill their smallest unit. Oh, you always let the smallest unit survive. Let's just do this one. Uh, charger. Yes. Great cost one less, so the charger will cost one less. Yeah. Do this. Do this. It's a draw, so it's good for us. Keeps us healthy and we get a draw. Yeah. The charger. Next, we play Nami and the thing starts. <clears throat> we play Nami. Nami has spell shield, so we're not too worried about her getting hit by kill spells. Undying is there. Um, do we care? Actually, no, it's fine. We can just do this. Uh, let's do this one. Actually, let's do this one. Put this one here. You wanna lower their numbers? That's it. This is the lowest card, so it will go to one. Now, this will go to one. The lowest card dies and turns into something else, so we're okay with that. A champion is here. Let's see what champion we get. Hopefully, Israel. Oh, Caitlyn! Super. That was actually super. So Victor's turn. Yeah, we definitely want a board space being created. We heal for this. 
Level up now, me. Uh, sacrifice a couple of cards from the hand, uh, from the deck, uh, from the board, so we have space to play Victor. Definitely gonna swing. They have Yas on them, Undying on them. Skip. Let's see what they do. Yeah, definitely gonna attack. Penami here. Let this guy here. Let this guy here. Let this. Okay, not that one. And this should be fine. Charger is fine because Charger is overall. This was actually a bad block. Let this one. Let this uh, heal. Eight lane. Is there any way to hit face? Nope. If there's no way to hit face, don't play the plunder, dude. Why would you just unnecessarily play it? Okay. Play this one. Super. Okay, so never hit the lowest one. Never hit the lowest one. We hit this, get one mana back. We get play the three mana back. Three mana thing again. Yeah, we can play this one again. Okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind. We don't have the board space to play this, unfortunately. So go next. Okay. As always, we play this one. If we hit the Nexus, we can play the Plunder portal. And we also play Victor's here as well. We get to see what we get. What did Victor get? A Challenger. We need Overwhelm, actually. Wait. Oh, no, we played the wrong one, I think. <laughs> took, it, took it out. Nexus. Yeah, we actually need overall on everybody. That would actually be broken right now. And we're gonna use all of our things to maximize damage because uh the more we give points to this one and this one, which you technically can't unless it's the weakest one, we can do more damage to face. Oh never mind, we can actually do it better. this one out yeah never mind we can actually do a lot of damage now because he's these can't block and he can pull that side and do more damage yes like this 48 damage hmm. interesting so you just need one good turn to finish them off regardless who you face because you can clearly play way more cards than they do okay right to my turn done informal is super bad another elusive is pretty good this one is also pretty good creating pranks that cause zero to it every time you attack i'll take it super unit in my opinion oh my god do i need to do i need it to be lower than that because if victor levels up this costs one less anyways nah we'll do this this is much better more portals portals is disgusting because it actually gives you the one thing that you need early early free units on the board uh cut units from your deck i actually like all of them nah i'll take it key for zero and face off because the next challenge the Diego fight like I said, uh, so the here the main decision that will make a difference is our Nami having spell shield, which was the main reason I took uh, spell shield because of this one fight. They can be, this this fight can be super brutal, super brutal. Your win condition can get blown up in one second, and you'll just get effed up right there, right there. Your race against time, it Diego comes on the board. If they're attacking turns, you'd be a little careful. Okay, we play our water boss. You don't play our spells now because we wait for Nami to come on the board. Yep. We wait for Nami to come on the board. We're one mana short and Nami will refill the mana and we'll have be able to play this one and all the others. Okay. Play our this. Let's see what our champion this time is. Oh, we got honor for sell. Should we get master D? Okay, super. Okay, definitely increase the cost of that one. Okay, another prank. Increase the cost of. Okay, definitely this one. This one shuffles two copies of it in lower cost. Right, they cost one less. So you definitely want to hit that one more than anything else. Uh, manifest a unit. It always give this one. 
Let this one. Let this. Level up now, I will save my people. Hopefully you can hit this guy. Uh we'll get this against base. Yeah, he's going down even more every time. Oh, another one that I wanted. And I will swing with everything. Ex okay, I can swing with Master E as well. Yeah, I can swing with Master E as well. Yeah, exactly. Maximizing damage across the board. They have, even if they try to block it like that, they would take too much damage. Okay, super turn in my opinion. So they have their Vigo is coming next turn, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's play our Victor. Ah, I shouldn't have played Victor. We're gonna get vengeance out. Yeah, Victor is gonna get vengeance out for sure. Do we care about this damage coming in? We technically don't. Yeah, we don't. Don't try to risk it. We have no idea what's gonna come from their side. Yeah, they, they, they still have it, by the way. They have exactly enough to do that. I was hoping for a... Yeah, what's that thing called? Spell shield. The one thing is super good for us is that actually we have a kill uh, kill on uh, Viego the moment he comes out. And the moment he comes out is next turn, without a doubt. There's no way that he doesn't come out next turn. And luckily it's our attacking turn so we skip go next we have this combo ready for Viego but the only problem is do you answer for all only first one not the second one okay so definitely gonna play a gear head gear heads will grow for every credit cards we play that's the one that we were already aware of so we're just gonna break the spell shield with this one and mini morph it across the board and mini morph it get the problem out of the way and now we're gonna do our combo again and they have used all their spells they have no counter for us like nothing they have nothing against us so let's see what we can play oh there's overall as well uh heal heal again is it this one Might as well play. I don't really care about anything else. And swing. Even if you swing with Nami, Nami is not. They're never gonna block Nami. Yeah, even if they block, they get killed. That's a thing. Super. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, this is actually super interesting. The play. Yeah. Nami got killed, but we got pretty good. Value out of burn. My lesson. The spell shield on Nami is what was preventing her from getting attacked. Cost one less. You can play her on turn one. Attacking Nab is not that great. Ah, lowering cost of Nami is pretty good. I can play her on attack one. So I can I can start getting the grand journal's counter plan on turn one. Okay, holy shit, dude. This thing not gives me nightmares, that's why. Uh two cards, two cards to start, attack to connect the start. Um, two cards to start is not actually the worst one. It helps us give, get Nami. Yeah, I'll take this one. Because we actually burn out two cards very fast. Okay, never, ever, 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 ever take this. Ever. Even though this is a very good attachment, never, ever will I go that side. Super disgusting fight across the board. You get buffed it even. That, day, that fight is more harder than the, uh, the boss fight. Okay, we'll just take our Nami. Nami can be played on turn one. <laughs> and we have heal as well a bit. This. Okay, so definitely low. play the lowest one. I guess we'll definitely... Ooh, that dude is huge. Interesting. Okay, this is two damage. This does two damage. Definitely got it. Got rid of it. Uh, we definitely want a unit more than anything right now. Yeah, we'll go for a unit. 
and this is played for free. Okay. Drawing sensation. That's for one mana. Swing and dish up the damage. You will definitely block. We have the Name spells coming in to heal her, so we're not too worried. Okay, we play Otter Pulse. Yeah, so we just do this. Take it out. Yeah, we can actually level her up. Heal Name. Block like this. Uh, heal whoever doesn't make a difference. Yeah, you can actually kill the dude. You can actually kill both of them. If we hit both of them, that is. It's a matter who we kill. As long as we hit this guy. This is going to be a little what should I, time consuming, but it's fine. We can play our verbal fish right there. We got that one. Let the attack go through. We don't really care. We play our verbal fish. Prank the hand. Uh, their vengeance is coming next turn, so might as well increase it. Create a fae. Or two and a. Life series is not necessary. Oh, I will take an elusive. I also go a long way for this deck. Summon a couple of cards. Another verbal fish. If you get a spell, we can play this one again. Yeah. Get this one. Get this one. If double yeah hits it, we oh, never mind. We didn't hit. If double yeah hit him, we would have killed him next turn. None of them hit him. Rise with the surf. We have another Nami in our hand, so what we do is just do this. Super. There we go, 42 damage. It's like a OTK, yeah. This deck is an absolute OTK. You just do one turn thing and finish them off. It doesn't matter who they are. Because you're playing too many cards in one turn as it is. Now compare Grand General's counter plan with the warning shots. You can see the level that Grand General uh, counter plan is at. Uh, gives a champion. Gives this one. I'll take champion. Helps us draw champion. What else do we need? Okay. Um, heal or cut. Do we need to cut anything from the deck? No. Everything is actually working super well in my opinion. Yeah. There's nothing to get. Throw this one. Nah. The portals are not doing that great, but it's fine. Just heal for four. Go to the shop. Hopefully, we get something good. Legendary power would be perfect. All buffs are permanent. <laughs> horrible power. Let's see if we can get anything decent. If we get the attacks for free, but it's horrible. Oh, portals are nice. We'll take a bunch of things. These are, these are technically costing one. Manifest from my region. Not really that great. Uh, no. Might as well get it. I don't know if it's gonna ever be useful, but nevertheless, okay. These things chase after your cards. This thing doesn't chase after your cards. And these things are smaller, so they can die to the uh, pounce of ebb and flow. So it's, this is actually easier than the other one. Uh, obviously, affordable cards. We keep this one in case we need an emergency draw on my champions and hopefully get Nami. We got Nami. And the worst case scenario is the fact that they are attacking, which they are not, so we are not in the worst case scenario. So we play our Name first. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Okay. Play our arm gear heads next. Uh we will play this one to manifest something. Play this. Play this. Okay, copying that one. I'm just gonna attack with this one. I don't need to attack with Nami. I don't want to take any damage to Nami. Give damage to Nami. Okay, good. Next. Normal beam is nice and all, but we will use it for a specific situation. I definitely want to take that one out. 
immediately, in fact. Pass and see what they do. Definitely want to take that one out as well. I think I do have enough to take it out. 33% 33.33 chance, yeah, it's gonna hit. This is 50% chance that's gonna hit. And if it doesn't hit, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna thermal beam that thing. Ruin its uh, turn. The fact that I can play these for free is nuts. Not the fact that I can level up Nami on turn 2 is also nuts. Mm, hopefully hit. Uh, yeah, nope. Super unlucky. Uh, okay. Uh, this is actually interesting. If you don't kill it, you're going to take a lot of damage. So might as well have to kill it right now, unfortunately. Uh, I'll take this one. Not that great as well. It's fine. If I had an, if I played this, they will swing. And if they swing, all the sharks are going to come back. So definitely don't want to let that happen. Okay, we have another gear head. Damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. Wider is 100 times better. Yeah. Wire is 100 times better. Mm, swing. By swing, I mean do that. Mm, play more. Play more. Almost taken out. Uh, Iron bot gets the boat. Can't play this turn though. Ah, swing with this. Oh, I have Challenger, dude. That's super crazy. But 36 damage, there we go. One shotting people left and right. Yeah, super. This is actually a super crazy deck. This is also a good way to know what synergizes with Nami so well. This clearly does. We'll definitely take this free rally for us. For one mana. Uh, we don't need heal and face up against the Galio Shivana fight. The Galio Shivana fight is the easiest one. That's why I said no. Let's try it out. If we don't fail, then we can try it later on. Galio Shivana is the easiest one. Galio Sena is the second hardest one. And Galio Malphite is the hardest one. Without a doubt. Uh... I'm um, actually I'm gonna keep it. It's fine. Actually, no, I shouldn't I keep it because we get two cards at the start, two extra draws at the start as it is. So this is just too much draw. It's gonna sit. It's gonna sit idle in my hand. This one. Okay, they're attacking turn, so to be super careful. Oh, we have, we have already got a parallel converges in our hand. This is the first time all the portals are coming in. I was not getting any portals for a while. How many portals do I have? Six. Okay, so definitely wanna let them swing. Definitely wanna let them swing first. Yeah. Might as well take our units out. It's fine by us. Now we play our Nami. Then we play our Otterpus. And then... Nope, we go next. We'll use it all together in one combo. Okay. So, do this. Naran Bot. Play this one. Play Prank. Obviously, increase that one. Okay, three. Unfortunately, we couldn't play the combo this turn. It would be nice if we could. She miscalculated. I shouldn't have played Nyan, but. Nyan Roid. Uh, we get this thing. I should have healed that dude. Level up Nami. I will drive back the darkness. Okay. I heal here. Yeah, even then we're actually, they're actually holding the ground pretty well. What that one? Options do we swing with everything? Not really. There's a specific reason I'm not swinging with everything. Yeah, there's a specific reason I'm not swinging with everything. Because if I swing with everything, I lose value of this. I'm gonna lose it next turn. I'm gonna lose it next turn. Play this one. Let the tide carry you. They have to block now. Rise with the surf. 
They're the exact copy of them, that's why. Super disgusting. And it lurk. Oh, whoa, dude. Damage across the board. And we're obviously going to use this one. We have two Namis on the board, by the way. Holy shit, dude. Absolutely nutty. Absolutely nutty. Double Nami. If we had rally right now, that that unit that dies gives us rally. Yeah, I can't use anything more. That's probably one of the most sexiest combos I have ever done in the game. Holy shit, dude. There we go. I think swing should finish them off. We go next and finish them off. There we go. I ah, should have actually taken Malphite, uh, Galio. Would have been super fun, actually. I see how far he can push it. There we go. Holy shit. What a devastating performance for Nami. Now we actually finally got a very crazy combo with her. It was super fun. I actually had one of the most fun experiences in this path. Galio path, I mean. With, with Nami, at least. Okay, the 3.5 star Galio path done with our 2 star Nami. Let's see what we get. Yes, okay. Champion HM power and description. Before I do that, do let me know if you guys want me to face this path again with Galio Malphite. With that being said, let's start the champion attachment and power discussion talk. Okay, so the attachments I have on my Nami is Grand Challenge Counter Plan, giving her a copy of herself at the start of every round. And as it is a created card, it costs one less, which is combined with uh, Victor's level two. And our, of course, our power. We're going to get into it anyways. Second power is Chameleon's Necklace. Game start, create two copies of me in deck. I don't really have that good of a common attachment in Nami squad. Nami doesn't grow that much. Nami is quick attack. These things, that type of things that normally you would put on a, you know, the unit you don't really want them because you want nami to be on the board and stay still uh creating two copies of nami means that we have a higher chance of getting an ebb and flow or nami to be played because you know we don't have a uh, legend uh, rank 20 yet so we don't auto draw a card so this helps us create another nami and you need nami nami is literally the backbone of the entire squad so you need nami and this increases the probability of having another nami not to mention that having more ebb and flows in your deck wandering charm gives us spell shield this is extremely important against specific fights against uh like if you have a senna variation or uh against uh viego fights or against even galio the silence and stuns and everything like, like that you actually need this in this from this point onwards you actually spell shield is always valuable on a specific key win condition unit and i actually had it i have no idea how did i get an ancient coin but nevertheless there is energy coin lowering her cost by one no idea when did that ancient coin came from anyways moving on to the next one uh which is the powers this is a horrible power i just got it because i used my all my reels rule of thumb never never use all your readers so you always want to keep one reader just in case you get a bad power like this and you can trade it for something else. an epic power of this caliber uh, this horrible caliber you can always sh shuffle to get something better even though epic has probably one of the worst powers in its pool this one and the other one is the hex crit hex tech uh foundry or whatever that is uh, rubbish card observatory rubbish card these two rubbish powers you need your readers to reroll it say so always keep it which i didn't uh, i mean, don't follow my own advice yeah don't don't use all of your readers you needed to reshuffle this type of rubbish powers anyways moving on to the next power game a star draw too it's actually pretty good uh this draw is because anami uses a lot of cards and it within one turn you will see that you lose up everything in your hands this one true extra draw at the start of the game actually helps a lot uh all allies that cost three or less are lurk it's pretty nice but the cards in the deck are three or less so you will at least hit the, the hit lurk once if max twice pretty crazy if you think about it critic casualness is an absolute backbone of power of the squad you need it with grand challenge counter play because grand challenge, uh, grand challenge counter play creates a fitting copy of me in hand that means that fitting copy will cost one less as nami costs two this will cost one now if your nami dies that is your ebb and flows will cost one and ebb and flow will combine the one cost ebb and flow will combine with nami's one star power every game okay one star power every whenever you play a spell you gain one mana as the ebb and flow is costing one whenever you play for one you get one so that means it's indefinite you will play one for one one for one one for one one for one it will chain react without you spending any mana so this is the combo that i was talking about which is activated by you having this if you didn't have this you're actually spending one mana to play ebb and flow 
because for two mana you're getting one mana back you're losing one mana but if you have credit cards this combo is indefinite absolute broken in my opinion of course it's now mr stopper if game starts you get one extra mana and game start draw a spell and of course uh this is one of my one stopper talked about it when you play a spell you get one mana and of course uh game starts you heal your nexus for two that's about it